Hey, um, these glasses make my nose look big. <laughs> you know those glasses where uh, you buy it at, like, usually at the end of the New Year's Eve, you, you get those glasses with the nose attached to it, you put it on and look like some guy with the nose and a moustache. I feel like that, except <laughs> it's not very flattering on my face. I need to get a new pair of glasses. Uh, so the other night I couldn't sleep, so I tried to get out of bed and when I sat down on my chair, I forgot I left my glasses there and crushed it and broke off the arms. So the normal pair of glasses I usually wear are broken and I'm stuck with wearing the glasses that I don't really like wearing. They make my eyes tired. I get really sleepy. So right now I'm kind of like half dozing off, half... Um, unable to think, pretty much. <laughs> um... So it is my exam period, so I'm kind of stressed, and I can't make any videos. I can't make music videos, I can't do anything really. Um, and I haven't played a game for like about two months, which is technically a record for me because all my life I've been playing games, so um, it's a weird, it's a weird uh, feeling. Like, it's more so that I can, I, I tend to be able to quit gaming when I want to or need to um, but never as much as to go like I would completely stop it altogether like it's kind of a habit of mine like eating or like reading a book it's something I do um, so it's kind of just putting me off that I, I can't really do that not that I'm complaining though um, I guess there are some benefits from like not gaming I, I tend to pick up other hobbies to try and procrastinate. Usually I play music or I, I, I make some food or something like that. Um, but lately I haven't been able to do that. Uh, and I've been stressing so much that I've been breaking out. As you can see, my skin's just like patchy. Uh, it's dead. It's like <laughs> I've been dragged through the dirt or something like that. And my eyes look really tired, if you can see. I'm starting to get like dark dark pack patches so yeah <laughs> um i did shave a while ago so if you saw me earlier on i had like a massive beard i looked i looked really comical especially with these glasses they make me look like a little kid and so when i wear these and then have a beard i just look like it's a really odd thing uh so yeah, that's all I can really talk about off of my memory. I had my exam today, which I couldn't sleep, get enough sleep for. I sat in there and I almost fell asleep. I was sitting there one and a half hours in just writing and I just dozed off for a minute. So tired. And I had to get up and just slap myself in the face. Like I literally sat there and slapped and I was like, I gotta study. I gotta, I studied a whole week for this. I can't fail. I gotta finish it. So I sat there started writing as much as I could. Then I thought, oh God, I've got half an hour to 12 because the, the exam period went from nine to 12. So I was like, okay, I gotta finish this. And I realized I had like 30 or more questions left, half an hour to do, it didn't, it, it wasn't enough time. So as soon as it got to like the 15th question, it had reached 12, I was like, well, this is it for me. I mean, I guess I fail life <laughs> completely. But apparently I didn't look at the time right, and it was actually 12.30 that the exam would finish. So I had half an hour left to actually finish the other questions. Uh, most of them was just like guessing. You know how, there's a certain technique I think I find to um, do a multiple choice questions. E even if you can't answer multiple, a multiple choice question um, correctly, like you have a 1 in 4 chance. Technically it isn't a 1 in 4 chance because as long as you kind of know what the question is kind of looking for and you and you know the range of the answers that it should be in, you can tend to slim it down to one in two, one in three. Um, and sometimes by process of elimination, you can pretty much get um, uh, a question, uh, an answer to a question that you don't know, you don't know how to answer at all. Um, especially something like, it, is it either... It, option A, B, or C, or D, and it's like, um, I have to find examples. I think, I think I'd like to make a video on how to answer multiple choice without actually knowing the answer, and 
kind of testing my theory because I have, I feel like I have a theory that can kind of work. And there are certain rules that you have to kind of be aware of to be able to answer multiple choice questions and cut them down to, um, cut them down to answers that seem to make more sense. Not that I'm saying that you can do a whole test without knowing, like, without studying or anything, but you can kind of, with the background knowledge you have already, and especially with the process of elimination you have, you can actually cut down a question to about, uh, the answers to about two or three, and by process of elimination you can cut it down to one, between two, two answers. Um, let's see if I can find some past papers of, like, a random range of questions, psychology or, like, chemistry and stuff, and... I feel like multiple choice questions are, are not the best things to test students with in terms of wanting to know how well they studied, but, oops, <laughs> this is getting heavy. Um, I think multiple choice questions do help the students that, I guess, can't cope, because uh, lately, for my exams, I haven't been able to quite cope with, um, cope with balancing uh, the lab work, the practical component, especially, like, doing most of the work on my own, which I'll go into detail in the near future, probably not now, because uh, it's a bit, it's a bit inconvenient, obviously, um, but, yeah, <laughs> I, I tend to be able to talk on for, like, a much longer period of time, but it seems that, I think my mind's being preoccupied, and I've been in this room for about, like, a month now. Not even a month, a whole semester. I've spent a whole semester in my room, more more time in my room than I've been outside, and I actually miss going outside. I haven't been outside for a single day. And especially in this, like, examination period, I haven't been outside once. So my skin obviously has lightened up, although you can see a lot more um, speckles. Actually, I'm more, much more naturally dark-skinned. I'm, like, literally black-skinned. But <laughs> it's it's really funny to look at myself now because if you look at my face norm in, like, terms of, like, normal skin tone, it's very different. I think the lack of sunlight has really just, like, like really made me light-skinned and sickly-looking. I look really sick. <laughs> it's really weird looking at myself and talking in front of the camera. <laughs> I gotta look away every now and then. Um, yeah. I think this video's gone long enough anyway. It's been about 7-8 minutes and I think a normal duration of a video should go around 4 minutes. <laughs> so I've gone over time. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you later after the exam period.